This message comes from BetterHelp. Can you think of a time when you didn't feel like you could be yourself, like you were hiding behind a mask? BetterHelp Online Therapy is convenient, flexible, and can help you learn to be your authentic self so you can stop hiding. Because masks should be for Halloween fun, not for your emotions. Take off the mask with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com. At QFC, we believe fresh produce is the best produce. That's why we work hard to shorten the time from harvest to home. So you get more days of freshness with favorites like crisp and crunchy broccoli, deliciously nutritious bananas, creamy avocados, and more. We also perform thorough inspections of all our produce to make sure it meets our high standards for freshness. So you can be sure you're getting the best of the best, no matter how you shop. QFC. Love fresh. Love local. Love food. Women who explore the outdoors have a new go-to for getting out there. Danner Boots Trail Ready Inquire mid-collaboration with REI is waterproof, sturdy, recraftable, and available in three exclusive colorways. Most importantly, the Inquire Mid was crafted with Danner's all-new women's precision fit technology, ensuring improved heel support as well as a roomier toe box. These limited edition hikers are available in-store and online at REI. If you're a woman who likes to explore the outdoors, these boots were made just for you. Hey, Mo here for Mosos, and I just want to take 15 seconds of your time to tell you that you better get over to mosos.com to check out my newest creations and embroidered puns. All puns intended. That's mosos.com. Bye. Get the same hot water for less money when you upgrade to a heat pump water heater. If your electric water heater is over 10 years old, it's time to start considering a replacement. Save $750 on your model of choice with PUD instant rebates at Lowe's and Home Depot stores in Snohomish County. Claim your digital coupon at snopud.com slash hpwh. Second date update. Most of the time, if money is exchanged in return for a date, oh, gotcha. that can be viewed as kind of sketchy. Uh, I think it's yeah. kind of illegal. Well, not for me, though. No? That's why I always walk around with seven different money clips full of wow. many denominations in multiple types of currencies oh, from all around the world because you never just, know. Just to be ready, huh? Have oh. you heard of Venmo? You're yeah, willing to do that for 800 <laughs> Barbadian dollars? Oh. <laughs> You're in luck, sir. Oh. I just happened to have that right here. Is that actually the currency in Barbados? Did I have you no check idea. that? Barbadian sounds cool. Yeah. You'll never know. And one of our <laughs> listeners said in their email a money exchange was attempted for a date oh. with her. It mm. might have something to do with why she's not what? seeing this person right now. But she definitely wants to get a hold of them. Let's talk to Mila about it. Mila, welcome to the show. Hi, thank you so much for having me. Oh my God, the setup to all of this makes it sound so sketchy. Yeah. <laughs> well, when you say it like that, I guess, but. <laughs> there's no shame in, in doing like a sketchy money exchange for a date. <laughs> I think I there think is some there shame is. in there. Don't yeah. hang your head no, about yeah. it. Not if you're happy with the amount. Yeah, oh, that's okay. true. You hold right. your head up with pride, Mila, okay? <laughs> Tell us about this person that you met and, and how this money exchange happened. Okay, so I met this guy, Sam, at a charity auction. Oh. It's basically, I was trying to raise money building a new community center. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, Good for you. Okay. So part of the event was auctioning off dates. Oh, my God. Oh. I participated in something like this once, and it Me was too. so nerve-wracking. Were you being auctioned? Yes. Yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> please, too. someone just bid. This is going to be so embarrassing. Was it weird that your husband didn't even put his hand up? <laughs> <laughs> that must have been pretty sad. Oh, my God. So, wait, were you being auctioned off or was he being auctioned off? Yeah, no, I was auctioned. Oh, okay. okay. I will say, and I maybe shouldn't, I was auctioned off once, and I actually ended up getting drunk with the person on our date, and we had the greatest time. But okay. wow. this could actually okay. be a date. This, These were supposed to not be real dates, This is a room of experienced date mm. auction yes. Yes. people. Yes. How, how Jeff, did, you've been sold before. I, I have not been sold, oh. no. I'm, I'm the buyer. But, Mila, how did you... <laughs> How did you feel when you were being put up like that? Yeah. Were you nervous? 
of course I was nervous. Yeah. Especially because I met this cute guy. Like part of it was a silent auction. And during that time I met Sam mm. and he was very sweet and he made me laugh. He made me feel less nervous about the whole thing. Okay. So you guys talked about how you were up for auction before a happened. date with yeah, you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. So then he asked me like, Hey, what number are you in the auction? Oh. And I was like, well, be prepared, though, because you're going to have to take out a second mortgage. I'm not cheap. Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's funny. That's a little scary. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff's frightened. But, but it's for charity, too, right? Yeah, yeah, it is for a good cause. So it's not the worst thing. Oh my God, so did he's, he, he, he's showing interest that he wants to bid on you before it happens. That's great. Yeah, no, and it was luckily that joke landed well. So okay. it gave me a lot of hope. But, yeah. of course, the worst possible thing happened. What? Sam starts bidding on me. Great. Love that. We yeah. knew that was going to happen. Duh. But then my freaking ex-boyfriend comes into play. Shut up. And starts what? bidding against him. What? Wait. Oh. Why would he do that? It's so stupid. He, he wants to get back together with me. <laughs> Did Sam ever know that was your ex? Or was it just like a bidding war with a guy he didn't know, hopefully? Yeah, I don't think he knew. Okay, that's okay. good. Yeah, yeah. It's better I mean, honestly, way. it kind of hypes you up. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. Over you. Yeah, that's true. So okay. wait, did he win? Who won the date? My ex won. No. Oh. No. He loves God. you. Did you actually verbally <laughs> say <laughs> yuck when he won? You start crying on stage. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's obviously for charity, so I didn't want to seem perturbed by who won. Yeah. yeah. It, it wasn't like it was a bad relationship either. Like the relationship had just run its course. Okay. It's just bad that he can't get over it. Yeah. Can we ask how much money you went for? Is that a rude question? No, it's, no, Actually, it's, it's not rude at all. And I, for the record, definitely think I'm worth more than this amount. Oh. Uh-oh. Okay. But it was two thousand dollars. Oh, that's pretty good. Dang. Two thousand dollars. I thought you were gonna say twenty grand, but okay. Oh, two thousand. Oh, that's yeah. it's respectable. What kind of charities do you go to? I'm not gonna say what the Illuminati does and does not do. Okay? <laughs> but the two thousand okay. is great. That's a good amount of cash, but it's with your ex. Is. Did you already go out with him? Ugh, no, I didn't. I'm not looking what? forward to it. But I'm going to make it very clear, you know, that this is just yeah. for charity. But what happened after the auction ended with Sam? Were you able to, like, reconnect with him and be like, hey, I actually, like, was hoping you would win? Yeah, I told him that. And I was actually able to get his phone number later on through okay. my supervisor. There we go. And look at that. He's hey. like, what? I get a free date? Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Well, I haven't contacted him yet. I was hoping that wait. maybe you guys could help me out. Oh, my God. Why? Oh. So, wait, hold on. Are we going to call him and, like, convince him to ask you out somehow? Why, why don't you just ask him out? I don't know. I'm nervous, and I know he loved your show, too. So, I, okay. I figured this might be the best way. Well, okay. The whole point is we need to ask out Sam for you. And, I just uh, think wow. this is going to be so easy. Like, why would he say no? I guess I'm kind of surprised that he didn't find a way to get my number. Mm. But I don't know. Maybe he felt like it wouldn't have been the right time since I was literally bought by somebody yeah. else. Yeah. Well, I wonder if he somehow could just vibe and tell that was your ex or something. And he's just yeah. like, look, I'm going to let um, them do their or thing. Or somebody else from the foundation that you oh, work with, yeah. like, let it slip. Because I'm sure some of your coworkers knew yeah, what was going on. Yeah, and then he's like, oh, they're probably getting back together. These are all questions that we can ask him when we come back, yeah. call him, and try and get the second date update and ask why he didn't think you were worth more than $2,000. <laughs> so rude. Yeah. We're yeah. going to do it right after this. Second date update. You're in the middle of a second date update update, and we're going to find out how the couple is doing right after you hear part two. Coming up to the auction stage, oh. she's a five foot six brunette, okay. but five foot nine in heels. Hey. She's got a sharp sense of humor with limited baggage. Except for the ex-boyfriend who follows her around to charity events and tries to win her back. Uh-huh. Her name is Mila. And now let's start the bidding at $14 million. Oh, whoa. Do I hear $14 million? $14 million? Nope, nope. No, no takers. Oh. Yeah. All right, I'm going to bid on it. Sold! Yay, Yay. Jeffrey! Oh. I think that was actually official, Mila. Yeah. Good for you. You just won a lot of money. Or like four Bitcoin. I know you're worth Mila. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Mila? How are you feeling, Mila? I feel really good now that you guys just gave me a proper bid. Oh, that's there right. Yeah. Yeah. That is right. I know I'm Thank joking you. around, but Mila's actual date really wasn't too far off from what just happened there because Mila was trying to help raise money for her local community center. She was in an auction, wanted a guy named Sam who was there to win her because mm-hmm. they had a little flirtation before the event started. Unfortunately, Mila's ex would not let that happen. 
He yeah. showed up and stole her away for the price of two grand. He sucks. Wow. <laughs> yeah, but he has money. Oh. Yeah, yeah, so he doesn't suck that much. And I wants guess. to support the local community. But yeah. the good news is Mila was able to get Sam's number. Mm-hmm. That's the guy she really yeah. wanted to go out with. Yeah. So we're about to call him here. And I was thinking we probably, when we get him on the phone, should not tell him that the guy that he was bidding against was his ex. Did you have to say that part yeah. out loud? Oh. What is duh, Jeffrey? Well, okay. <laughs> like, who was going to mention it? Yeah, That's yeah. true. I was, I was thinking the same thing. Let's not mention it. All yeah. right, okay, so this we're is all just... in agreement. It was all my idea. Yeah. <laughs> so now we're going to call uh, this it, guy Sam for you, okay? Really? Oh, my God. Here we okay. go. I'm going to dial his number right now. Hello. Hi. Uh, we're looking to speak with Sam. This is Sam. Hey, hey. Sam. Uh, nice to meet ya. you. What up? You are on a radio show right now called Brooke and Jeffrey in the Morning. Uh, okay. What an experience. Uh, we often auction this type of experience off at uh, charity events. Mm. <laughs> yeah. That wasn't as smooth as it I no? in your head. Yeah. I thought it sounded pretty but good. It yeah, still sounded I'm pretty good. sure Sam yeah. has no idea what yeah, you're talking about. Yeah, it's random. About. Yeah. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> Sam, sorry for the confusion here. Um, we're doing a segment with you called a Second Date Update. Um, okay. And the reason that my co-host eloquently br- Thank you. <laughs> spilled Thank you. something <laughs> about auction stuff is yeah. because one of our listeners met you recently at a charity auction for a local community center. Do you remember me? Oh, uh, right. Yeah, I was there. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. yeah, you're did, big into charities, huh? Did you meet any cute ladies there? Yes, I did, actually. There was one in particular I really liked. What a coincidence. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. We're talking about a girl named Mila. Is that the mm. one you're thinking of? That is the one I'm thinking of. Oh, hey. oh that's so cute. She just was super serious, and I just heard your smile when oh. we said her name. Yeah. Bro. What did you like about Mila? Mila was just breathtaking. She stood out from the crowd. She's Aww. really cute. I don't know. We just had a, a really good chemistry. And, uh, That's awesome. oh, she was just sweet, just really relatable, you know? Yeah. Was it one of those so things? sweet and so relatable and so breathtaking, but not breathtaking enough to spend more than $2,000 on her. Shame, oh, guys. I'm just saying. Hey, we're uh, a comedy show. That was a joke. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <But> <laughs> Even Jeff. We, well, I mean, you, we heard that you didn't win when it came time for her to be bid on. No. For the date with her. Yeah, there was another guy out. He outbid me, so. You realize she's not actually a, a thing, an item. You can just ask her out afterwards. <laughs> yeah, I know, but right after somebody bit on her, I don't think that was the right time to go up and ask her. Mm. Oh, it was yeah. the perfect time. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you don't want to do it in front of the person that no. just spent all this money trying to get her. But these things I are mean, actual what, romance. I mean, they're just like fun we're, things. We're, they are, yeah. They're not supposed to be. Did like you that. have any plans, though, like maybe after the event to try and reach out to her or something yeah. like that? Yes, definitely it was on my mind. So uh, funny thing happened was after the auction was over, I went over and talked to the guy that outbid me. Oh, you did? Oh, Oh. you talked to him? Oh, why? Did Did you roll up your sleeves and say, best man wins? Yeah. (laughs) Now it's time for fisticuffs. Let's throw hands. No, I mean, (laughs) like I said, I really had a connection with Mila. So I went and talked to the guy. Uh And it turns out he was her ex-boyfriend. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no way. Shocked. What? Wow. <laughs> we, whoa, that is news. Blindsided. Come on. We knew that. Okay, yeah. Brooke. To be honest, yes. we, we heard that that was the case. <laughs> and she was super disappointed. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I felt really bad. I mean, he was, like, really trying to get back to her. He was getting all teary-eyed, talking about oh. how much he missed her. And oh. I kind of just, I felt bad for him. So what? I kind of consoled him a little bit. And oh, I told him he had to move on. I mean, obviously, it's over. Yeah. It's over. So. Well, we've all oh, been there, good. so you're kind of being a bro at this point. That like, was, okay. I get it. Give that it was a, a good message. Give him yeah. a little post-relationship yeah. therapy. Did he listen to you as he moved on? Yeah, he needs well, to. Well, I mean, it took a little bit of a, a bribe, so I actually ended up paying him for the date. So I reimbursed him plus a little bit extra. What? Wait, what? To oh. buy the date of Mila off of him. No, wait, wait hold on. You wait. Know? Why does Mila not know this? Well, it's going to be a surprise. Like, oh, he's supposed God. to go on a date, so I'm going to show up instead. Oh, no! Oh my God! Hang up all the phones. Are right you kidding now. me? Oh, Wait, dude! Side. By not saying one thing, we ruined. That's actually else. really cute That's and really so sweet. Nice. Oh my God! And I I'm sorry, guy. dude. The reason why we're reacting uh, this way, we had, just we had no idea that this plan was going to happen, and we actually have Mila waiting on the other surprise. line, listening, wanting to talk to you. Oh no! That's oh, no. our surprise.
Jesus. Dude, I'm so sorry. But Oh, man. Well... Mila. Mila, are you there? It was going to be a nice surprise. I was looking forward to seeing oh, her no. face. the knife. We feel bad already. Oh, Dude. Mila. Mila? No, I'm still surprised. I'm so surprised. That's so sweet. Oh, oh. Yay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Cute. Did you hear well, I don't get to see your reaction in person, but. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. M- Mila, so Mila. Are you okay yes. with this? Are you sure you want yes. this to happen? Yeah, you, you guys are so sweet. Like, I know you feel bad for, like, ruining the surprise, but I'm so happy right now. I'm speechless. Are you oh, sure? Oh, Be- that yay. is the kid. Oh, it's awesome. Good. Are you sure, Mila? Because we can get your ex on the phone and convince him to up it even more. Let's, <laughs> let's see how high we can go with this. Like, 25 Oh, he's going to have to pay me a lot if he wants that date back. Hey. Oh. How were you planning on telling her? I was going to just come to the date. I mean, it was all... Yeah, that's the perfect You were just going to be like sitting at the table and she was yeah. going to walk in and instead of the ex, it was going to be you? But this is good because exactly. now she can get more ready because she'll yes. actually care about the date. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, that's what I was <laughs> thinking too, Alexis. She what she would have worn before. Yeah. Because, <laughs> Mila, you weren't going to try if it was going to be the ex no, at all, that's right? That's a great point. Oh, yeah. No, not at all. Oh, okay. my God. I'm sure Mila would have looked amazing no matter what she was wearing. Oh, oh yeah, you're great. Right. Like, this is making me sick. Yeah, now I'm getting a little nauseous. I love it. So, well, what we normally do is we offer to send you guys out on a date that we would pay for. Well, we could we do that. We don't have the money. We do not have $2,000. They're going to go on two dates now. <laughs> after the date. date that you've already paid for, would you like to go on another Second date after yeah. that? And we'll pay for that. Yeah. I would love to. Okay, All great. Right. Oh my God, he is so into you. He's already planning the next date. That's uh-huh. so cute. Well, Brooke, technically I plan this, so I get ownership of it. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah. Well, technically the ex planned the first one. So, yeah. I mean, okay. so what <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you really have to step up your game here, okay, Sam? You're not doing a whole lot over there. I'll try my best. Okay. <laughs> That's a spirit. So cute. Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning. Well, that call happened six months ago where we blew the surprise. Yeah. Tip, yeah. Typical yeah. us. But it was so cute, I still can't get over it. But now we've got them both back on the phone to get a very quick update oh. update. Hey, oh. Sam and Mila, welcome back. Thank you for having us. Hey. And hey. you two are not together right now. Just hang up the phone. Yeah, oh, you yeah. better be married. <laughs> <laughs> well, f- fill us in on what's happened since you guys were talking to us last. So basically after the last call with you on your show, we went on our very first date. Uh-huh. And of course there was drama. Wow. Drama. Don't Uh-oh. tell me that ex showed up. Yes. Yeah, yeah. uh, yeah. 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 So predictable. Way. Exes suck. I know. Brooke, you shouldn't have told him where the date was. That was a bad idea. <laughs> it is Sam on the phone, right? Not your ex. No, it's yeah. me. It's me. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sam. Sam, were you freaking out? Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, it was pretty crazy. I didn't I didn't expect him to show up, but eventually I just I just ended up just paying him to leave. You paid him again. Wait, what? Dude, you oh. are just a baller. Is that why he showed up? Is he now just showing up for Sam's money? Because he knows he'll get paid to leave. How much did you have what? how much did you have to pay? Well, I gave him another three hundred bucks and three hundred one hundred even is what? <laughs> Which yeah. is kind of insulting that he's only in love with you up to three hundred dollars. Yeah, I mean the ex is only obsessed. Well, I tried to pay him less, but I would have paid a lot more just to have her. So oh. I mean, you're oh. sweet. That's hey. amazing. Okay. Have you guys gotten rid of that dude? Hopefully, we'll, ne- we'll never see him again. Okay. okay. Yeah. That doesn't sound very. Yeah. Kind of no, it was definitely a weird moment, but ever since then, it's been really great. Oh, okay. I could just imagine, though, you two are on the couch, like at home watching a movie, and you get a call from her ex. He's like, Hey, I'm coming over unless you Venmo me a hundred bucks yeah. right now. It's like, Okay. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> You're a good guy, dude. Keep us updated yeah, on your guys' yeah, relationship. So cute. Thanks, man. To the wedding. Yeah, make sure you keep that location uh, secret. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Will do. Uh, no. Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning. Did you know a 2018 study showed half of prenatal vitamins tested had unacceptable levels of heavy metals? I'm Kat, mother of three and founder of Ritual. When I was four months pregnant, I couldn't find a prenatal I could trust, so I created my own. Ours is made traceable, third-party tested for heavy metals, and recently earned the Purity Award from the Clean Label Project. But don't just take my word for it. Get 25% off at ritual.com slash podcast. 
Attention treasure hunters, Swinomish Casino and Lodge invites you to embark on a thrilling adventure this October with our Pirates Treasure promotion. Receive one free entry per week and one additional entry with 750 points. One lucky Buccaneer will walk away with a minimum of $2,000 and possibly uncover a grand treasure worth $15,000. Come enjoy the excitement of the hunt. Visit SwinomishCasinoandLodge.com for more details. Ready to jumpstart your homeschool year? The Good and the Beautiful has everything you need to get started. Free printable schedules, free full math and language arts courses, free engaging learning apps, and so much more. Our goal is to make homeschooling simple and joyful for you and your children. Check out our site to find everything you need to bring home a love of learning. Visit goodandbeautiful.com slash free to get started today. And I need these items printed with our logo by Friday. Certainly. Are you for imprint certain? Well, we are for imprint. Certainty matters. Like the certainty of finding the perfect promo gear at For Imprint. Exclusive items and quality brands to wow your clients, your customers, and your team. All delivered on time, guaranteed. So go to forimprint.com and find some wow now. For Imprint for certain. Is your body trying to tell you something? Tiredness, lack of focus, trouble sleeping, bloating? These things can affect your quality of life. That's where Symbiotica can help. The supplement brand is made with quality ingredients, free of seed oils and shady additives, and they taste delicious. The time to feel better starts now at Symbiotica.com. Use the code IHEART to get 20% off and free shipping on your subscription order. That's C-Y-M-B-I-L-T-I-K-A.com. That's Symbiotica.com. 